There is a misconception that you shouldn't take that much care about your 1S batteries. But for those of us that are flying TinyWoop often, we would like our batteries to last as long as possible. There are a few options in the market to charge, discharge and storage charge your 1S batteries and I want to present and explain pros and cons of the three I like the most. I'll start with the VFly Whoop series board. This is the most economic solution since it's just an extra board which you connect to a charger. In this case, what you're actually doing is to use the power and features of your regular charger and apply it to your 1S batteries. You select how many batteries you are going to plug, plug them and start charging in your already owned battery charger. You have to pay attention here because you can use only one setup, one kind of settings to all the batteries that you're going to connect. You cannot mix in this board different batteries, different kind of a million per hours and you have to be careful to make sure that everything goes together with what you're actually going to do. In this board you have BT2 connectors and PH2 connectors which you cannot use two of the same channel. You can mix them BT2 and PH2 kind of, I wouldn't recommend it, but you have to be careful to connect only one battery per channel. It's obvious that the biggest pro on these the series board from Vagfly or Vfly is the price, which is something around 16 US dollar in the US market. But you have to consider that even though it's cheap to get on board with this, you have to have a main charger, which normally is the one that you have at home, right? That is bigger. You have to configure that one so it works with this one. You have to plug everything. And if you're thinking about mobility, then maybe this is not the best of the solutions because you will have to have another charger and this one and bring everything together with you. So maybe if you have like a small charger or like a, one of those ones that are portable, then you have kind of like a nice set. But then again, it's two different things. It's this board plus that charger that you have to have in order to take control of your 1S batteries. We now move to the VFly Whoop Store 3, which has been the main to go charger for 1S batteries for a while for me. Contrary to the VFly series board, this is a full DC charger by itself. When I say DC charger, I mean that you still need an input to this charger. You need a power supply, you need a battery, you need some kind of battery pack that powers this charger. You still have six places to charge your batteries the same way as the board the series board you have ph2 and bt2 and you cannot use them at the same time you have to select one and then plug your battery on that channel very similar to the series board you can use all six of them at the same time but there is one setting one pair of voltage and amperage that is going to work for all the six batteries at the same time. As a side note, I found a really nice 3D print to turn into a desktop charger and you just need to push the button to eject the charger once you are ready to hit the road again. Beautiful, right? If you want the STL, look at the description. I'm gonna put the link in there. The big plus with the VFly Whoop Store is that you don't need another charger as with the board series that I showed before. In here you have everything that you need. You select if you want to charge, if you want to discharge or if you want a storage charge and you select how many amps you want per the whole charger. Still you need to have that power supply either you need like a battery that you can, you can connect here or you need like an external power supply that you can use from like the computer or your laptop or I don't know, maybe even phone chargers could work. And then you have everything here. This is very portable. This is ideal if you're gonna throw it in your bag and just go somewhere and you have to charge on the road.
The last charger that I want to talk about is the Gepard C Wood Charge W63. It's a new at the time I'm recording this video and it's actually similar to the Whoop Store in the sense that it has six slots. It's a DC charger needing an external power supply and the size is comparable to the Whoop Store 3. The main difference and the reason why this charger is something special is because the six slots are actually independent channels. Which means, for example, that I can charge a 1S550 in slot 1 while charging a high voltage LiPo 300 in the rest of the slots. I can select, as I'm saying, five batteries in this charger independent to one battery that is completely different and still things are going to work perfectly. This for me is a great feature because I can mix batteries, like if I'm using my 75 inches and my 65 inches and I want to charge 3 and 3 or 2 and 4, I can still use the same session to charge all the 6 batteries and still have enough force to fly each one of my drones. As an input you can use either a USB-C or an XT60, contrary to the Whoop Store 3 which also had a 5.5 barrel. I'm very happy with the Gepard C charger, the W63. I have found this charger with two different names on the internet, so I'm not 100% sure which one is Gepard C giving. I think it's something like Whoop Power or Whoop Charger. Anyway, this charger has everything that the VFly Whoop Store has, plus the ability to get into each one of the channel and do something there interesting which is the main plus that this charger has. On the con, I would say that the software, the, the user experience in the software is kind of like not the best one. You can miss a few things. There is no real start stop button. There is, yeah, I mean, there are a few things that can get better. Nothing on the side that you will say, oh, the software is so crap that I'm never going to pick up one of this one, but you can see where Gepard C can do a little bit of a better job. The Gepard C charger is the most expensive of the three solutions at 36 US dollar in the US market, but I will say that it's understandable knowing this of the independent channels that you have in this charger. Something that I think is pretty good from these two chargers is that they are quite silent. They have a fan, both of them has fan that I guess that it starts when, mostly when you are discharging. But in my test, I've been running my batteries and if I discharge or charge at 1C, I haven't heard the fan or maybe a couple of times, but it hasn't bothered me at all. These three chargers are useful on its own way, each one of them. And I don't think that you will be doing something wrong if you're buying one over the other. I think it's something that you have to think about depending on your money and depending on the way that you are using your batteries. If you already own a big charger that you're very happy, then maybe this Sears board is more than enough for you. But if you are a lot on the road and you don't care much about charging different kind of batteries at the same time, then maybe the Whoop Store 3 is what you need. But if you are after the top of the top, being able to have a lot of flexibility, portability, and everything else that you get in these charges that I presented today, maybe the Gepard C option, it's the one for you. Anyway, I'm happy that the three are there because then you have options. You are the ones that depending on the price and the features, you're going to select one or the other. What do you think? Which one of these chargers is the one that works the best for you? Or maybe which one of them is the one that you own already and you are happy with it that you are not thinking to change it. Let me know in the comments so we can have a nice discussion. And thank you for watching. See you soon.